when you wake in bed, shift your lazy head, open up the window, look below you. Do not spend the day sleeping hours away. Nature has a lot of things to show you. If you want to see the sun is shining at its best, get up nice and early in the morning. If you want to see the flowers waking from their rest, get up nice and early in the morning. There's no need for you ever to be blue. My advice is simple, you know what to do. If you want to see your sweetie looking at her worst, get up nice and early in the morning. saying, early to bed, early to rise, uh, red sky at night, uh, then uh, keep the doctor away. Anyhow, it's a well-known fact, the longer you lay in bed, the shorter the bed seems to be. I remember once, I got up so late in the morning, that when I was going downstairs to breakfast, I met myself coming up to bed again, and that's a fatal thing to do. But remember, if you want to keep that schoolgirl complexion, get up nice and early in the morning. And if you suffer from insomnia, go to bed and sleep it off. Yours truly, Tommy Handley. I'd like you all to know, we live with Uncle Joe in a little bungalow. It has got a garden and it keeps him on the go. When someone says, where's your uncle? We just answer, oh, he's mucking about the garden, always on the go. Seeds begin to show, weeds begin to grow. Mucking about the garden, dear old Uncle Joe. Works for hours among the flowers and then begins to grow. Everything is lovely, lovely, everywhere, everywhere. Morning, noon and night is on the go. Oh, mucking about the garden. Dear old Uncle Joe Seems right to mother's apples or plums Watching his onions grow Now a few hints on gardening by yours very soil, Tommy Hanley First of all, you must purchase suitable tools, such as a spade to cut the earthworms into assorted lengths, a wheelbarrow to carry out their remains, and a watering can in case the caterpillars turn thirsty during the night. Of course, if you haven't got a garden, the only thing you require is a portmanteau which you fill with your neighbor's potatoes while she's at the pictures. Then you buy the seed in penny packets, each packet bearing an illustration of the flower, designed by an optimist and colored by Ananias. And if your rhubarb is back, you'll bend it forward. Thank <laughs> you. 